Hello, happy you're here. Today, I... <sighs> Tomorrow, we are hosting Poppy's birthday party here. She wanted to have a birthday party with friends over so they could sing her happy birthday and eat cake. So today, I need to clean the whole house and get ready and I feel unmotivated. I feel zero motivation to get this done. Um, I mean, I'm inviting all people I already know, people I love very much, who would not judge me for the state of my house, but we are going to have lots of kids inside and outside in November. So the weather can be chilly and we only have so much sunlight. So we're gonna start at like 10 a.m. tomorrow. So we don't have a lot of morning time to get stuff done. I made a to-do list, um, but... <laughs> I don't know how to get started. It's so hard to get started today. I also slept in because it's the weekend, so we usually do like easy breakfast, the kids play, I get to sleep a little bit extra. Oh, we've got to clear this space out. We need to make sure that we have food, like party snacks. And then tonight we need to decorate and get everything done. So buckle in, we got some stuff to do. Holy snippets. I also have to clean my entire house while my kids are here. And they are already <laughs> playing very intently. Like, intent, intense. Intensely? They're playing hard. Things are being moved to different rooms. <laughs> Buckle in, here we go. Okay, after after some food <laughs> and changing my clothes into, into the cleaning clothes, you know, out of my jammies and comfy cleaning clothes, which are shorts because I don't have any clean leggings, which is fine. We are in here because this pile of dirty clothes is out of control. I did just manage to empty this clothes basket by putting things away, what a freaking concept. So now we're gonna split this in half so we can do a couple loads of laundry. Because we do not need full on mount laundry down here when we're hosting, you know? Where is it? There she is, there she blows. Okay, let's do a little laundry, hey? Because I honestly, okay, sorry about whatever angle's about to happen. Um, I, <clears throat> I don't really know where to start for getting ready for this party for some reason. I just feel like all of the tasks are swirling in my brain, which is making it impossible to pick. Oh, that's fun, see that? That's fine, right? Just a flickering light bulb, nothing to see here. All right, and I feel like I'm starting in, in like the wrong spots, if I'm honest. Like maybe doing laundry isn't the best thing to do, but it is a set it and kind of, kind of forget it. I do set an alarm so I remember that I am doing laundry, but it's more or less like not an active thing. The biggest thing I'm struggling with is if I clean up or like tidy up a space, are my kids just going to play in that space again and then make me have to do that thing twice instead of once? So I don't, I don't know. And then I have some stuff that I need to go to the store for. Like I want to get a little cake. What we do is we get a mini cake um, except for the year that Owen said he wanted to make our cake, so we made it. But I usually get a mini cake and then cupcakes, so the birthday kiddo gets a little cake to themselves, and then we hand out cupcakes to everybody else. It just saves me from having to cut cake and dole it out. Cupcakes travel easier. You just say, here's a few cupcakes to take with you. What the hell was that? Hello? 
Okay. Um, so that's just what we kind of do. Poppy had said that she wants ice cream cake, but she's never had like an, an actual ice cream cake before. She's had ice cream and cake. So I think that that maybe is what she meant. So I don't know if I should like look for an actual ice cream cake or if I should assume that what she meant was ice cream and cake. The birthday theme is obviously Paw Patrol. I'm sure if you've been here a little while, you probably could have guessed that. I ordered a whole bunch of things off of Amazon, so I'm pretty sure I've got enough things to make it Paw Patrol themed. But I do need to go back through and take a look at everything to actually assess what I have. And I need to make sure that our helium pump still works to fill up the balloons because it was left outside for so long. So that's where we are right now. Just trying to maybe do some of the lower level tasks like this, some of the more regular daily tasks, and then maybe that'll spark something to get the other stuff done. Because I also, ramble ramble, wanted to make her a Paw Patrol dress. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> You'll have to see on that. If you're someone who separates their darks from their lights, what's it like watching me just throw everything into one load? I am separating out like actual whites to be bleached though, so you know, just, just saying. If you wanted to pat me on the back right, you could. Oh, that good enough. Oh, I need to stretch more. Oh my God. Okay, I think I have bought myself 10 to 15 minutes here to do a quick little tidy. I've sent the kids to go knock on the neighbor's door to see if uh, Dave is there. So that's what they're gonna go do. I'm gonna do a quick tidy of the living room. We've done the dishes, the bar needs doing, I've done a few loads of laundry. Nothing major. It is 2.30, so we have a little bit more time. It is deceiving because the sun sets at 4.10 tonight. So it's not that late. And then I think when Dave comes back, I'm going to go to the store to go pick up some stuff. So I don't feel like I've been majorly productive, but I also feel fine about going into tomorrow. Does that make sense? Even though I've not put up any of my Thanksgiving decorations, um, so we're really gonna lean into the party decorations for tomorrow, but then like, should I put up Thanksgiving stuff or should I just go straight to Christmas decorations? Usually I have the Christmas decorations up after Thanksgiving, but I don't have my little tree out this year because the lights are broken on it. So I'm kind of thinking we just put up Christmas and we, we skip the, the Thanksgiving decor, even though we are hosting Thanksgiving. I don't know, what would you do? Are you ready? Are you putting all of your Christmas stuff up right now? Let me know, I've gotta make a decision very soon. We're at Walmart. I put on my best Adam Sandler outfit. It's time to go into public looking like this. Getting stuff done, the things we need to get done. I'm also kind of hungry. So I might grab myself a little, little snack while we're in here. And hopefully I get everything that I need. I've tried to make a list on my phone. And I'm just hoping that I didn't forget anything. But it looks kind of busy in here. <laughs> I don't really want to deal with that, but it's uh, it's just what it is, you know? <laughs> I just passed someone dressed head to toe in a Grinch costume. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Let's see where we gotta go. Party aisle. 
that is probably a good place to start. <laughs> Who would have thought? bar is semi-clear. Okay, we're... nothing starting tomorrow until 10. So we have a little time. We do not go over the top here for birthday themes. We get some smattering um, and that's enough a lot of the time. So from Amazon, which I got a while ago, like once she decided that she was having a Paw Patrol themed birthday party, I went on to Amazon and I just bought stuff so that way I knew that it would already be here so I've had these for like two months now we've had we've got a birthday candle it's got little puppy paw prints on it we've got a birthday topper and then also because like I said we do the little cake with little cupcakes with it they have in there as well cupcake toppers so I'm just gonna take the little cupcakes and then stick little Paw Patrols in it and then the birthday cake, which is all pops, will have the whole gang, which is lovely. I've got a 26 inch Paw Patrol number three balloon. I'm going to blow this up tonight. And I also got these balloons. There's like paw prints and some primary colors and like this balloon with confetti in it. So I don't want to do all of these because if they don't last the night, that would be devastating if we come downstairs and everything's deflated. I do want to put this up because I would like for it to be up when she gets up in the morning. I don't think I'm going to do streamers for this party because usually we do the dining room in full streamers for the kids actual birthdays. So I think I want to save streamers for her birthday day and really make it like it's her birthday day. You know, balloons for party, streamers for birthday day. Owen had his birthday party on his actual birthday day, so he got both. Let me show you. So I went to Hannaford, super easy. I went and got like pre-made cakes. Ignore this lighting. Oh my gosh, it's horrendous. Um, Dave asked Poppy what kind. Let's do it this way. Come over here instead. This lighting's a little bit less terrible. So I had Dave ask Poppy what kind of flavor of cake she wanted. Chocolate, vanilla, or all mixed up. I don't know if she knows what marble cake is. Um, she said all mixed up. It's like, all right. So they had this pre-made cake. It's marble. Um, it's got little gold flecks on it and it's got like this little pink ribbon which will be nice the little three on it and then with the little paw patrol topper as well and then i got two containers of cupcakes one with excuse you okay um so i got chocolate cupcakes vanilla cupcakes both packs have vanilla frosting and chocolate frosting for each and then i'll put the little paw patrol toppers little toothpicks right in there when it's time for cake and then personally i hate scooping ice cream i don't want to go through the whole thing of scooping it so i got some popsicles which i they make these now in mini this is not the mini one but they do make these in mini sizes now and i got the little drumsticks so no plates <laughs> i'm not dirtying any plates you get a cupcake that has a little paper on it and then you get things that you can hold in your hand so this is this is cake and ice cream around here it's easy and plus not all kids like ice cream and then some kids are allergic to nuts i guess that's the takeaway originally i was not gonna get the drum like the little drumstick guys i was going to get um hannaford has cups of ice cream I was gonna get those, but I could not find them at the Hannaford that I was at and I didn't feel like looking. <laughs> so those are the options. 
I've got some chips, I got bagel bites, I have Uncrustables and a fruit bowl. Party time, party time. And then I figured as party favors and also party activity, I got some Paw Patrol tattoos. My girl loves tattoos. These are always a big hit. So I figured at some point, let's open up the parlor, let kids come through, pick out some tattoos and send them back on their way. I think I accidentally bought two of these because I saw this at a store and I think it's in my car. I saw one of these at the store. I was like, Poppy would love that for her birthday after I had already bought this one on Amazon. So I think I have two sets of these, which will be great. Cause then I can send some home with kids afterwards, but Paw Patrol tattoo sesh. Kitchen tattoos, who wants some kitchen tats? Mm. It's that kind of party. I think I'm just gonna do the balloons and kind of call it enough. Let me go get the helium tank and then we will blow up some balloons. Listen, either someone is secretly living in my house or we have a ghost. <laughs> Neither problem I can solve right now, so. Helium tank, let's fill up some balloons. <laughs> To do. I can't believe that balloon is too too heavy for the helium, but just adding adding a blo one balloon on the top actually really did it. So hopefully the two they will work together and keep that thing afloat. So here's hoping. Um, also the nozzle for the helium has grease on it. I don't know. So dealing with that. Also highly recommend picking up one of these if you are looking to do party things or if you just want to keep your kids occupied on a random day. Kids love balloons. They love balloons that float. Totally worth the 50 bucks in my opinion. <laughs> but I do think that that's gonna be enough for me. Like we're having our friends over. They've been in my house before. We have some things to make it special that you can't see out of shop, but the balloon, we're gonna have, I think I'm gonna like blow up some of the balloons as well and put them on the floor. Yeah, we're gonna have plenty of time to get stuff up and going and probably when people are showing up, we'll still be like making food or cleaning stuff up or whatever because it's just relaxed, it's okay. She just, for her birthday, all she wanted to do was have her friends sing happy birthday to Poppy and eat cake. And that's what we're gonna do. So thank you guys so much for watching this party prep. I feel like every time I make one of these, because it's not the first one where I'm like prepping for a birthday party, I feel like they're, <laughs> they're getting less and less um, hectic and panicked and manic and they turn into this. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. Well, I kind of tidied my house a little bit <laughs> and blew up some balloons. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that already. We've got more things to clean. Look at this. I'm not, look at all that. More to clean. More to come. And Vlogmas is just around the corner. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.